G'day! Welcome to a build video, or a not a scratch build video, but a, a rebuild video, but it's still going in the build video. Playlist because, you know, simplicity. So what we have here is an old brass lamp. I, uh, I'm not sure how old it is. I uh, did a bit of a dodgy repair to this plug in the past because it got squashed. Um, but there was another fault. And the fault involved the positive contact, you can see, being poorly soldered on and, uh, and coming off inside this head. Now this head was riveted together, so I had to cut those off to take the plate off to inspect it. And I've loosened the head up already, as you can see. Um, it's pretty well one of those impossible to solder jobs. Um, because of just the length of wire that I've got. You can see down in there, there's not much wire to play with. Positive just over on this side, wrapped under the negative there. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut that and put new, dismantle it, put new wire in and rig up some LEDs. And I'm going to use these puppies got two of these, they're 12 volt LEDs, I'm going to run them off this ballast, that's the correct term, in the bottom. And that will hopefully fit in there with a possible little bit of coercion. But I'm going to try to fit that in the base, which means we're going to have to remove that base and uh, do some funkiness. Could also see if I can get this this switch serviceable, but honestly, this may make me sound stupid, I'm not even sure how that switch works. Um, but I was thinking, <laughs> I might just for now, because I don't have another, uh, I don't have a replacement um, inline switch of the same style, I'm going to use this one, because I know the switch is good, and I know there's continuity down this wire, lost continuity is up at the head here. So I'm going to use that, and in the future I will replace this with a nice new unit. Anyway, for now I'm going to switch to the top-down camera and uh, dismantle this puppy for um, to get in the new wiring. Like I'm honestly going about this uh, as I find it, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. It'll be a bit of an adventure. So that'll be, I think this is a post-tension stand. If you're wondering what post-tensioning is, it's a technique of providing rigidity to a structure through tension on the structure. So only like an internal tension. So you get like some tubes, put a chain bar or wire down them. And if you tighten the, uh, like a series of tubes, say the same size, say this is broken, it would be all loose and you have the wire going through it and if you tighten it, it'll bring them all together and make it into a rigid piece. It's a basic theory. And it's not like this has got a loose piece and it. it's got a bar. But you can post tension with a threaded rod. I've got post tensioning holding the top strut of the double axle set up together on the, uh, on, the on one of my trailers. I like those things. I've got to find a head big enough for that. I'll be back in a bit. Well, they might not have soldered the lamp head on very well, but they did that. Did that nut up really tightly? Kind of all the way around there. Yeah, it was better if I done properly. Pretty much. That's 
perfect. So that ballast can go in there. And I have a little bit of modification to do to the base, because of course, it's got to have something to clamp to here, so I'm going to have to give it some backing in there. And this weight, you can see it gets in the way. So I'm going to have to substitute that weight, I believe. I think I've got an idea for that. And then the other side of it, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, on a small breadboard, go, uh, these are unopposed. On a small breadboard, and then the breadboard can be mounted up in here. I just wondering if we can use this piece, this metal piece. Nah. No, no, no. I think I'll uh, probably 3D print something, just design something, a little thing to stick the breadboard onto and uh, woo! <laughs> Break my LED. And mount up into here. You see, because this the thread here, let me zoom in. So there's a thread on this. You can see better on that side. And this actually does nothing. And this retains it. So I'm gonna to have to reuse this plate and cut this light mount off and reuse this plate somehow and attach to it because that's gotta be twisted on. I might modify the plate. I might try to use these arms or I might cut them off and put holes in it and uh, just sort of screw it on there. Um, bridges, I'll get to that when I get there. Hey Deggy, I'm gonna cut negative wire if I can manage to get to it. Okay. Junk. So that needs to be drilled out. Okay, so what I should do is put my light head together, test it out, and then test out this transform uh, transformer here. Um, and and make sure my electronics are going to work with my intended reuse of this switch. Um, and then it's simply a matter of putting it all together. I can probably, to be fair, just reassemble this section of the lamp here. Um, there seems to be no need to keep that apart. So yeah, let's uh, get to the other bench and do a bit of that. Before I get on with that, I've got to drill this, and I think I'm just going to... I'm not going to put it back together. I'm just going to change my mind, just saying. I'm not going to put this back together because it lets me get movement on the wire. I do have to drill this. And so, I have a plan. The plan involves... So you can see here, I'm going to use this board to distribute the power. I'm going to wrap the board as well. Uh, there's going to be one line running over here, one line running on this side. This will be attached to this frame in the middle. And I might try using nylon screws for that. We'll see. And um, then these will be soldered on here. And then to connect it to the lamp, I'm actually going to make it so the whole head can be removable if I want to change the LEDs over later on and unplugged and that will just make life simple and in the bottom uh, once we've tested everything and put it all together I will put this in there and then I'm simply going to get lead and I'm going to glue it in reinforce this bit here I might 3d print out a um, or I might just use some washers all right so that's my plan right here let's do this And of course, just you know, join the dots. Well, I like this way. So that's one side. two rails, more or less. I'm gonna get them exactly where I want them and do a little bendy, bendy pokery. But that's the two rails there. And then the power will jump in. 
the middle and it distributes it parallel. Hmm. Did you mind? And it distributes it parallel down either way. And all I really have to do is designate one arbitrarily because I've tested these to work in both directions, in both polarities. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. See, they will sit on there and then I will solder them in. Could make them a pain to remove later on. And maybe I could get a plug, maybe I could mock up a plug. What else have I got to do with this board? Which of course isn't a breadboard, it's just a yeah, prototyping board. I have to drill it for the mount and figure out my, my mounting technique. See what I'm thinking I'm doing it gonna do is I'll lay down these tracks, drill it, and then I'm actually gonna heat shrink the whole thing. So this will be insulated. Um, on top of insulate, you know, but these wires, these two wires will be well insulated. And I'm gonna, I'll put goop on here as well. And then I'll heat shrink this middle section. So it'll just be the ends here that'll be exposed. And then on the ends, I'll be able to solder up the thing. And that should make it electronically safe because this will be insulated from this by the heat shrink um, and nylon screws. I'm gonna get down my ends there. I'm looking at this. There. I'm gonna keep it up. It's a good idea to, to uh, fasten your wire down a bit. Now, don't forget it's gonna get bloody hot. You wanna push it into place sometimes, so. Yes, that does mean I will have to make sure I have this attached and coming out and looping before I heat shrink it. Just to make it nice and neat, I'm coming along, as you can see, I'm pinning it. Every couple, every so often, there you go. Regular intervals. I'm going to need a couple of little bits of wire for these ones. Let's do it like this. Hold on, that is welding wire. Back on. Okay, let's ring. Trim this up. So yeah, I want to solder that on. No more than that. If that, like really, yeah, that much. So, like I was going to say before, I'm doing this bit first because once I've got this on, I've got to mark my positive and negative lines. Up until this point with this particular build, it doesn't matter because these can be run either polarity. Which is nice because they don't actually put on them. Uh... Anyway. So that's going to go on there. Right, she's marked for life now. So now I want to goop between, I want to drill, then I want to goop. Probably should have drilled first before I put those wires on there. Okie dokie. Yep. 
Okay, wondering if you're supposed to fuck us. That should give me some wiggle room. I'll have to find those holes again once I've covered it. And those will go in there. And they line up pretty well. I should be able to get those through with a little bit of coercion at the very worst. So now I think I might end up super gluing some nylon nuts at the back here. So I can just screw this on. Okay, you know how, you know how things screw on, you've, you've all been there. And um, and then screw this down with nylon nuts to it, with nylon bolts. And that will go over that. And then I'll poke back through those holes for the heat shrink. This can come out the side and get plugged in. And the lights go on either end and it makes a little module. Alright, so I'm going to put this side on here. These pins are kind of redundant, aren't they? Oh goody, it's got a coating. Fantastic. Metal is clean. The tip is clean. And hot. And yet still I cannot get a layer of salt on it. I'm not settling for that. Okay, so I figured out a solution. I'm going to show you here. I've got these a pin receiving thing with you and they can be squeezed on. And then fold these down here. There's no wires going in them. And then these, there's two on here already. We attach like so and then be able to pull the head in and out. Now I just want to solder the back. Yep. Yep. You know what I should add? One and a half, one and a half, three amp. Three amp thermal fuse. And I'm gonna add that in the base of the device. So if there's a short, that'll heat up and it'll cut the short. And that is basically the light bar. Okay, so before I uh, do all that, I'm just going to try it out. Well. Anyway, so look, they, uh, they'll be bright enough. That's 12.1, running at half an amp. So there you go. Okay, so that was a test. It's quite bright. Doesn't take very much powder on it. So I'm just gonna put this on it. Right, so that's back on there and I just double checked that. It's half an amp. So we'll use a 1.5 thermal fuse, which is overkill, but it's the smallest I've got. Um, I've gotta find my holes again and poke them through. Have to fix this on here. Oh gosh, I'm not bend my stuff anymore. I already have. Get through. So those push through there. Like that. No. Yeah. There's a bit too deep. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to super glue those into place. Oh, you need thumb. Okay, so now they're just going to have to dry there. And while they do, I will. 
I will go and do the other side of the equation. All right, so I'm gonna use another plug system down here. So this will have a plug at the bottom here as well. And a plug that comes out of this. And I'm doing that because it just makes it much easier to assemble it and to do everything. Um, make it all nice and you know neat and also take it apart, work on it later, change bits out. So on and so forth. So I gotta stick my positive in. You all know how this goes, and if you don't, I'm glad that I am able to be the one to enlighten you to the universal nature of red and black, positive and negative. So that's got to go in there, just in line and covered up. That's uh, got to go on there, and that has to go on there. So I'm adding plugs to either end of the cord in this assembly. I want to know what's positive and what's negative. So I hold this here, and I set the multimeter to the right function, and that's my positive. Ready, shrink on the side it. And again, I'm just gonna check that. Well, I'm gonna call it my positive anyway. So that's the same line. So And now, it's always good to triple check. You have indeed soldered the right bits together. Shrink all those on. I'm gonna go grab a uh, lighter, and that's that's that. I'll check the continuity and blah blah blah. But um, more or less, that's the basic wiring. Uh, all I've got to do is put the power lead onto this and fit this into here. Get to get the lead, put it in, reassemble the whole thing, and um, with thick rubber gloves, test it out. I'll get these shrunk up and um, I'll just tidy up a little bit and get to the next step. All right, so it's uh, plugging the 240 into, like wiring the 240 to the transformer. Yeah. Uh, that's your um, neutral and that's your, uh, your, your live. Brown is live. Blue is neutral. And green and yellow is green or green and yellow is um, ground. Earth. So I need that earth to go there and this like this. Right. So that's got to go up there. That's got to go up to there. And that'll go probably like that. And then I'll stick lead in here and here. Waiting for super glue to dry? Really? Yeah, I'm still waiting for super glue to dry. So you're gonna to have to come back here in a bit. I can assemble the base, but not the top at this point. Plus, I'm gonna so we're coming up on 25 minutes here. So I'm going to cut this into two parts and we will continue with the finishing of the base assembly and assembling the lamp top uh, in the next episode. I will try to get that out as soon as possible and I will link to the end of this uh, when I um, have it up. 
and uh, ready to post. I, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you would like to um, ask any questions about the project or uh, make any comments, give me any tips, I'd really love to hear them. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very satisfying project doing something like this, but you have to have some electrical knowledge. So please, while it's a basic project, I would highly recommend uh, that it's not your first project that you actually have some uh, knowledge about how electro electricity works to some degree uh, before you start attempting playing with uh, anything that may be plugged into um, high voltage. Um, even low voltage can be dangerous, but really the danger uh, comes from comes from high voltage uh, um, shocks across the torso. Uh, they're, they're, they're regularly killers. Anyway, I don't know why I'm waffling on about that. I'll probably cut that out. Hope you have a great time uh, watching this and enjoy the next part and I'll see you then. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, rock on.